welcome back to my channel and i'm sure you saw the title of i'm going to show you guys how to make these envelopes i can make the boxes for you which is i don't mind doing it i do love doing these so i am still working on these but i figured you guys can actually make these if you see exactly like how freaking easy like these boxes are you're going to be like um really so because i love you guys and you guys are so awesome with supporting my channel i am going to show you guys how to easily make these envelopes to go in these boxes now it doesn't have to be the same boxes that i have right here it could be one that you get from walmart one that you get from um wherever you want to get it from amazon whatever and i'll link some of the things that i'm using today in the box um below in the description for amazon so i'm going to actually show you how to do that and you're going to be like what that's all i got to do tina okay all right so these are the boxes that we're going to do well the envelopes we're making the envelopes not the boxes okay so we are using this is what we're going to be making and y'all i didn't even really have to cut these envelopes here um this is like super like i'm serious when i tell you guys these are like super easy to make all right so let's go ahead and hop into it so this is just the pad that i use super easy simple and i went to hobby lobby they actually had these restocked because usually when i go there they do not have these stocked at all and you usually can get these like 50 percent off if it says if it's labeled the paper studio now if it's by the paper studio and it's not labeled the paper studio er, you're not gonna get the discount unless you get somebody nice or be feel sorry just get up there and cry i'm just joking don't cry because they, they it's not gonna they're not gonna fall for it all the time okay so i am like the worst when it comes to doing taking these things off i don't know i'm not sure how i don't know i don't like the the yeah i do not like the tape on the side there all right, and Bestie Aiden is wide open. Okay, all right, so this basically is just 80 sheets, size 4.5 inch by 6.5 inch. And if you want to go to centimeters, we got 11.43 centimeters by 16.51 centimeters. And that's what we got here. Now, only one side is colored, but you're going to use that for the inside of your envelope, so you don't need that at all. All right, so... Let's go ahead. So my laminator is pretty much heating up. So I'm just going to show you guys. I don't know if I'm going to put it on my um, thing here or not like that, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pull one of these out. We're going to take the first one and we're just going to rip it. <laughs> Girl, just rip it. Okay, now as you can see, this is what I'm doing. <gasps> Yo, did I just blow your mind? Did I? So they normally have these little paper, I think it's called a bone fish, I'm not sure. So if you know what that little long pointy thing is that you crease your paper with, please put it in the comments because I know I am like jacking it up right now. So, But if you don't have that, all you have to do is just use your Cricut um, where you kind of like, you know, flatten down the edges on things and you can just do that that's what i just did because like i said i put that thing somewhere and i cannot find it at all all right so you just get a nice crease all right and i'm gonna do a couple more because i don't want to let's switch let's do something else i don't want to waste my laminating paper and the laminating paper that I'm just going to be practicing on is a 3 mil. I usually use 5 mils because I want these to be pretty much sturdy. Or I think maybe if I did them myself, usually when I do things for myself, I usually use the lesser gray. But when I do y'all's, I do like the thicker paper. So I think these might be 3 mil. So you might be able to get away with 3 mil pretty good. I think that's what it is. We'll see. I cannot remember it's just all a blur okay all right so we're gonna crease this again put that there and as you can see y'all this is the same size as this and was that hard <laughs> no 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 i like simple guys simple 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 all right so we're gonna go i'm gonna pick let's just pick this one like i said i just want to do enough i think i did four on a page because i run it through twice because the first time my laminator is not like um uh, vicious laminator is just <laughs> just your normal i just got it from target it was actually on clearance for 17 dollars a while back when i first started doing 
like laminate and stuff so all right and then i'm gonna show you what i did for the labels and you guys are gonna be like that's it tina i got this i can do it and i'll put all the supplies in the description box and like i said the boxes i am on my way making those and i do have my laminator i don't think i need to show you guys it going through the laminator you think i'll just put it through the laminator and then i will show you guys and i just try to put it closer to the top because basically that's the part that's going to be actually cut off and what i do is i take this and i face it down below and this laminating paper i just basically got it from staples i just get a big box of it and i'm gonna tell y'all something i'm not sure if you guys know but i'm gonna tell you a little secret y'all know staples price match amazon right so if you find this on amazon cheaper and you're in staples you can get this for the same price and also walmart online okay all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put this through my laminator y'all because if y'all see me putting stuff through the laminator y'all gonna be like tina what is wrong with you because i be looking straight crazy because i be doing it like this <laughs> so i be trying to get it all together all right so this is what we have here and as you can see it's not all perfectly laminating laminating laminated so i don't really um i don't kind of go all off because <laughs> it does so what i'm gonna do is this is how i do it all right and this is just a fisker this is one that i got from joann's on clearance um i think it was like 19 bucks i think i think that's what i got it so i'm just gonna basically slice down the middle i am not perfect with this thing so um y'all don't judge me right now i'm gonna try to put it in focus all right so and the reason why i do this is because i put it at the end so i'll know which top is the end because i don't want to be cutting the bottom all right so let's do this so we're gonna go here and all right that's my top and I, all right and i want to make sure that i have enough room on the side so that you will have that little extra space um so that your envelope won't come open when you're opening it well, Aiden only picks the time to go in his toy box when I am trying to do something so I apologize for that y'all so all right so look look at that right okay and then I sometimes some people I round the edges on my thing but um we're just doing it for this and you can always however you want to cut it you can cut it as close as you want if you want it more like on the sides down. But I'm going to run this back through um, my laminator. I, don't, I just don't want to put that hot laminator right here because I don't know. All right. So I put this back through the laminator. And as you can see, it did end up sealing the sides down more. And if it doesn't, you can always take in once it goes through when it's hot, you can just basically take it and push your fingers down and you have an envelope okay so i'm going to cut the rest of these out later i'm just doing this one just for the video because i don't want this to be super long because it does not have to be long all right so next thing is we have this this is what i use for the labels to put on here and then you can just write it however you want to if you want to print out some number stickers that's fine with fine with me however you want to do it that's totally up to you all right, so these right here is just multi-use labels. I'll put these link in the description box below. These are removable and they're one and a half inch by three and a fourth inch. So if you have these at home, just pull them out. I had these stuck in my, they, they're super old. So it was um, Avery multi-use label 6,737. Um, so, and then we're gonna go ahead and I told you these things are old as dirt. <laughs> All right. So, and then what you can do, you just peel it off, put it on, if you want to put it down where, I guess you wouldn't put it down here, you wouldn't be able to see the numbers. You can put it in the middle, you can put it here, let me bring it up for you. So, you can put it in the middle, you can put it on the right side, you can put it on the left side. So, for my cash envelopes, I just did the right side and I just did it close to the top. And then you just come in and you don't even have to use a pen, you can use a marker if you decide to depends on and you just put your one or like i said you can use some stickers because a lot of times you can find stickers like from like the happy planner or whatever and they will fit in the little boxes and then you just open it up that's why i said you wanted to make sure that the edges are a little bit farther 
so when you're doing this you're not really um you know what i'm saying you're not really like putting force on it now the bottom you can cut it as close as you want because remember that's where that fold is so this isn't going to crack open like how the sides are because they're not like joined together but the bottom is a little bit more secure so you can if you want to make it closer that's up to you however you want to do it so like i said y'all we didn't even use a ruler you know what i'm saying no ruler at all okay so this is all what we have for the boxes so just grab this paper and then if you have like a smaller box you can basically just cut that down a little bit more to fit the box and that is pretty much easy um i don't even know how else to explain it to you because <laughs> it's super easy right did you think that was that easy so if you have all these supplies at home go ahead and make you a 50 envelope box or 100 envelope box and i just put 50 50 in both of these so hopefully this video will help you guys make your own boxes at home and save you a little bit of money because y'all we're on a budgeting journey and you know what i'm saying i mean you, you can still buy yourself something but thank you guys so much for chilling with me and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up because you know i do appreciate it and then like i always say until next time guys peace